Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at reasons why your Venus flytrap is not closing. So let's start the video. Before we get started, this channel is dedicated to the care and cultivation of carnivorous plants, just like this Venus flytrap over here. So if that is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification button so that YouTube actually tells you when we make one of our weekly videos. So let's start looking at why this Venus flytrap may not be closing its traps anymore. Okay, so right over here in front of the screen, we have one of our tiny little Venus flytraps and it is the last month of autumn here in Australia and you may not know this, some of you will, some of you may not, but Venus flytraps go dormant in winter and this is a big reason why they sometimes don't close their traps. So in winter time, in most places of the world, winter time comes around and it gets quite cold and what happens is that Venus flytraps go dormant. This is a natural thing, they do it every single winter and it's actually something that you should do with your plant unless you're a super advanced grower and you want to experiment with their dormancies. Our guy here, as I said, it's the last month of autumn. He's going to sleep. And when they're asleep, obviously they're not gonna be closing their traps uh, very fast or at all, actually. And what we'll do a le little bit later on in the video is that we will take these traps and we will actually see if they are still closing. Um, and we will see how much slower they actually are. I suspect that they're a little bit slower than usual and that a couple of them might not close at all, but you know, I might be surprised. Another thing that people often forget is that Venus flytraps are plants that need a lot of sunlight. Like I'm talking eight hours of direct sunlight every single day. And if you've got a plant recently from a store that doesn't give the plants the correct care that they need, and then you take them and you put them back into very dark conditions, they will make very long traps. And at the end of the traps, they may or may not have the actual trapping mechanism, which is the mouth. And obviously sometimes you'd be like, wow, this trap is so big, but then you try to close it and it doesn't close. And the reason why is that the plant is simply starved of, of energy. It has no sunlight. It is not getting enough energy to create the energy it needs to actually close. So you have to make sure that you're giving your Venus flytrap at least eight hours of direct bright sunlight in the summer and springtime and even a little bit of autumn time. But obviously, as I said, in winter time, it's normal for them to go to sleep and dormant and you should give them their dormancies. And during that time, if they don't close, it's actually not an issue at all. Another thing that people often forget is that these Venus flytraps need the correct type of water as well. They can't take tap water unless obviously the tap water is very clean, which not many people are actually able to tell unless you get a meter. But you need to make sure that you're giving them the right water. If you're giving them the wrong water, they're dying and that's why the traps won't close. So our Venus flat traps and all canvas plants outside here, they actually all have rainwater that we collect in our system over here. And if you don't have rainwater, it's also fine to use distilled water or reverse osmosis water. This is our water system. It comes from obviously from the roof. The rainwater gutters all collect, comes underground. And then up out of this um, this tube here, you can see there's water right here at the top, kind of full of algae as well, but that's fine. And here's 100 litres of rainwater, and we have six of these buckets, so we have 600 litres of rainwater for our plants. And as I said, grow them outside in full sunlight for at least eight hours. Here we have another Venus flytrap, and here are all of our other carnivorous plants. So as I say, you need to make sure you, you give them enough sunlight, the right water, but the other thing is, is that if they don't have the right soil, they're probably dying as well. You see me and Bear over here, we both know that Venus flytraps need to live in the correct soil. They need to have soil which is oftentimes peat and sand or peat and perlite in a ratio of one is to one. If you put your plants in just basic normal potting soil, this will kill the plants and obviously the traps will not close. To make sure you have them in the right soil, even sphagnum moss is perfectly fine for them. And if you've got that down and you've got the water down and you have them in the correct temperatures and sunlight, then there's no reason why they shouldn't be closing. 
So if you've got those three things down, the water, the soil, and the sunlight, and you've got them down perfectly, and your plant's traps are still not closing, and you've actually let your plants actually acclimate to that environment for about a month, and the traps still don't close, I don't know why your trap won't close, but it should be. So if that's the case, let me know in the comments, but I really don't think that that's something that happens often. The only other thing that I can think of if a trap is not closing very fast or at all, is because you've actually overfed the plants. If you have fed every single trap on your plant and you're constantly feeding your plant, what happens is that your plant gets lazy and it actually does because it has so much energy, it doesn't have to use that energy to make traps because obviously there's no point to make something if what you want to get is something you already have. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, besides that, I've made a list over here of other reasons why your carnivorous plant, your Venus flower traps, traps are not closing. So on this list, we have all the other reasons why I can think of that your Venus fire traps trap is not closing anymore. So let's reveal it. Exactly. I don't know why either. It doesn't make any sense. If you have the right soil, the right water, the right temperatures, which comes with the right amount of sunlight, they come together and you're not overfeeding it. And obviously you had the plant in that environment for like a month. Then, as I say, there should be no reason why the trap isn't closing. Um, so if that is an issue, please let me know in the comments because this is something that I obviously have never experienced before. If you give it the right environment, it should be closing. I would do this here. He's going to sleep. You see all the traps are going black. The traps are getting super small. There's one coming out there in the middle. But as you can tell, all the traps are super, super tiny and they're much smaller than what they used to be. And that obviously happens normally when dormancy comes around. As I've said, if you're still struggling with your Venus flytrap and you've done all of those things, Definitely let me know because I would have no idea why your Venus flytrap doesn't close. So anyway, I've spoken enough about the reasons why your Venus flytrap would not be closing. It basically comes down to not having the adequate care for them. So let's actually check if our Venus flytrap's traps are still closing fast or if they're closing slower than usual. So let's try. Okay, so here we've got our Venus flytrap. Let me zoom in for you guys a little bit. There we go. And we're going to be using a fork to close the traps because obviously if you're feeding something, you have to use a fork because, you know, unless they're chopsticks, I don't really understand how you get into your mouth anyway. So let's see how fast these traps are closing. And now, please guys, bear in mind, I'm not hurting the plant. They're naturally meant to close like this. But yes, if you close a trap without there being any food in it, it wastes a little bit of energy. But this plant is growing really, really well. It's a very strong grower. It's making growth in the middle of its dormancy period, which shows that it's just such a strong plant. So... Let's see how fast or slow these traps close. Yeah, very, very slowly with that one. Let's try this trap down here. Piece of rubbish in there. So if you didn't know that, um, how these flat traps close, there's three trigger hairs on each side of the mouth. If you touch one twice within 20 seconds of each touch, it will close. Or if you close one trigger hair on each side of the trap, it will close within 20 seconds of each other. So let's try this trap. Now you can tell these traps are quite slow right now. Generally, they close, close super fast. You may have seen in the um, intro video of, of this channel, the, the, the trap closes like instantly and these traps are really slow. And I expect these traps to close even slower, the colder it gets and the closer towards its full dormancy. And we have one more trap right over here. So let's close this one. There we go. See how super, super slow that is. So it's not just your plant, guys. It's my plant too. And it's because our plant is going dormant. So if it's winter time for you, which is currently right now in the Southern Hemisphere, so Australia, Southern Africa, Brazil, South America, etc. It's going to winter for us. So if it's winter for you and your plant's going down, it's completely normal. But if it's summer and you have it in the right water, right soil, give it enough sunlight, and you've had it for like a month in those conditions, and it's still not closing fast, and also that you're not overfeeding it, then there's some other kind of issue that I really have never heard of, but I'll be ha happy to help you. So I just moved our Venus flytrap back outside, put it next to its um, sibling over here. And all of our other carnivorous plants are all outside. And it's a beautiful day today. 
It was so cold for the past like three days. It was down to two degrees Celsius at night. It was super, super cold. But the plants are fine with that. That's what they get naturally in the wild anyway. So yeah, they have no issues with that. Oh, and there's another thing that I don't think I've told you guys yet, but I have now put wires in the middle of our um, fence here because the fence was like kind of like falling over previously. So now when we close it, I put the wire across here and tied up over there and it keeps it all standing upright. So we don't have to worry about stakes just yet. It works perfectly fine so long. No more birds or rats or anything getting into our plants over here. So it's working perfectly fine for them right now. So if you guys found this short little video helpful, please remember to leave a like. And if you enjoy um, learning about carnivorous plants, if you enjoy listening to me talk about the plants, and you want to join us in our adventure of growing all of these plants outside here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, if you guys want a more in-depth video of this specific topic, please let me know. And if you guys have any other topics that you want me to talk about, please also let me know. I'll be super happy to address all of your topics that you want me to talk about and go over with you guys. Me and Kitty Cat over here, uh, we will see you next time. Bye.